it's day four on uh, the turbo and uh, yeah you won't get a little cringy uh, coffee ordering from Tim Hortons because I've already done it. But yesterday <clears throat> and the day before it got down to minus 30, minus 40 in places and I just really wasn't up for going out in that. Uh, so we're going to meet Matt and Andy today uh, for sure. Hopefully Ed is getting permission from the missus. Going to the same areas we did the other day that was really good uh, and we're going to give Andy a few pointers. So this is it's a late start today, as I said, um, it's going to be warm this afternoon, it's min only minus 7 now, so uh, it's, gonna, it's quickly heated up. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be a very long or particularly interesting video, but we will see. You never know what happens to sledding. Alright, uh, go and meet the guys and see you there and then we'll get up there. Look at the size of that. Three sleds. <laughs> big do those trucks want to be? Look at the size of them compared to a normal truck. Well here's one of them. Here is Andy who can actually arrive kind of on time. You're getting the YouTube treatment. <laughs> These guys over here said it's too it's quite icy going up and I don't think Matt can make it with his rear wheel drive truck so maybe we just park here. So we're waiting for Matt, who's uh, actually been back home twice because he forgot stuff and he's got to unlock his his sled from his vehicle. Uh, and then we were chatting to Andy about what how you're at 50% braking <laughs> on a sled that is like four years old or something. So what happened last season, Andy? Talk about your first like three, oh, four days. So first day out, we managed to find a rock on a lake and that was a ski and some A-arms and tie rod and stuff. So that was exciting. <laughs> day two was actually really good. Me, you and uh, Cody went up Spurt, remember? And it was like the in and out fog day. Oh yeah. That was actually really yeah, fun. Yeah, actually, yeah, we had a good day yeah, then. We had a really yeah. good day. And then the next day was up Brandywine and in Shovel Nose and it was a bit of a mess around. And then came back to Chocolate and then was doing a glory lap on Chocolate and the sled just died. So luckily it died at a logging road where we could tow it out, but that was a new engine. So I've got a new engine put in. I have to find that picture of when you uh, yeah, just where you came snow, back, yeah. you were just covered in just snow from being dragged out. And then what happened after the new engine? And then... Uh, your friend went into you, so, Yeah, they? yeah. I don't think that was the first day out, though. Maybe I had one, uh, one day and then another day my friend drove into the front of me when he was doing donuts. Maybe the third which day. Which I have a video of, so I can send you that. <laughs> Engine and then and plastics. Then, and then plastics, so yeah. you got it fixed. Yeah, got it fixed. <laughs> so how many days did you do that? I got it, like... Seven days, maybe six or seven days, <laughs> and three of them were basically disastrous. Yeah, and the total cost of repairs was like twelve and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> but luckily, insurance and warranty. I think that was the lesson, wasn't it, last year? Like, yeah, because that would have been the end of it. If you if you had the sled blow up and no warranty, uh, no warranty, that would have been that was like eight and a half grand. Yeah, to get a new engine. Keep working out of here, but like. I'd say don't really wait up for me because um, I might not make it. Matt's got his uh, super clamp slot, so it's sort of not great. Let's see that diesel go. <laughs> Time do you call this? <laughs> not the best morning, have you? God, don't lose your keys. You still got a lock on the back. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Is your carbide stuck under? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh dear. Can we go now, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Off we go. We are slippery. You do already. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Polaris slowing us down? <laughs> oh, we haven't given him enough shit. Well, it's like the joke about like riding a Polaris is like shagging a fat chick. <laughs> it's all fun and games until your friends find out. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby even up here. Only 
depressing to get home. Yeah. It's a Polaris slowing us down well, again. Like Little hot. I am. I'm actually really cold. The I just got really cold then. The main benefit of a turbo is just this. I use it all the time. <laughs> it's just so good. Oh yeah, this is like really, it's really tasty. Really good for me now. Yeah. Oh really. Oh, that's better. control <laughs> so out to the top then I'll follow you You're hooking. Well, that's why I'm about to practice no guy. Well, let's see it. <laughs> when you're hooking more towards like the middle and the back of the boards. Okay. Can you show me one like down there? Yeah. Look how far forward his leg is. Andy, leg further back. It's all right, but.
agile. It moves really well. My only complaint is this is too high. Yeah. I've been getting my feet hooked up on it as well. I've noticed that. I'm gonna go over there somewhere, somehow. Be a bit of an adventure. <laughs> fell. I actually really like creek jumps now. Probably all good until it doesn't pay off. Take it easy. Good easy stop it. There we go, so we're decent. Yes, Andy. Let's keep going. Go, go, go. which Andy was absolutely right. There's no, no snow there. Well, it's a nice place to go. Yeah! That was really good. Like, Up the side onto the edge. Andy, we're going to have a race. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> to get to that uh top there and go no further like i don't have time and yeah, yeah. it's risky enough i think yeah like try and go to the gut and see how we get up that way and then um and then kind of do some stuff on the way back get yeah. to the furthest point yeah sure. yeah so. what do you call that call oh call or saddle okay saddle, them. So let's there. figure it out <laughs> to the left but it was quite steep and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna go for the hill I mm. I'd like to I'd like to
shit. Slow it down when you come to the top, it's very grippy. Hey, good to know, guy, I'm on my way. Right, here's Matt's big hill climb. Uh, yeah, cornice even, not crevasse. Uh, I don't know, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I didn't mean to go in, but I'm in. I'm actually revving it to slow it down. Oh, no, I hit the brake. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, sled. Yeah! <laughs> It just kind of stops. Yeah. There's just like a, it's like a 30 foot drop off into like a massive, like probably like 30 foot by like 40 meter, 50 meter wide wind scoop. And you're gonna try and hook it back around. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Yes. Oh. a good place to get stuck. Two, three. <laughs> there we go. Matt's just found the side hill. That is the challenge. Got to you. He's getting much better on his. Uh, so much better. Yeah, it's like fits in the right position. He's just like. <laughs> I mean, he's making it work, but in control. Nice. Um, 
allowed to start heading kind of back. Yeah. That's all right. So Andy and I are going to have a race. He's got not the tow boats then. One, two, three. Like full? Nah. Nah. I was like, if I go full penny, won't get that cool overtake shot. Nah, I was only at like 80. Oh come on. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, full yeah. full pin. straight up. Always on your way out, isn't it, Matt? You got a Christmas tree. Christmas tree for the, for the kids, you know? <laughs> your carbon footprint has just increased. Because <laughs> now you're taking trees down and burning gas. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. Give everyone a geography lesson as fast as you can, left to right. Okay, left to right. So you've got Black Puff, Garibaldi Lake, Mount Price, Garibaldi, and Atwell Peak. And then you're coming along, and that's like Sky Pilot, Co Pilot, and Haybrick in the distance. Yeah. This one here is Cloud Burst, and I think Alpha, Serratus, and then Pelion. Oh, uh, you don't think Tantalus? Well, yeah, the Tantalus is Alpha, and Serratus, and Pelion. Oh, okay. They are the peaks of the Tantalus. So it's always a geography lesson, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're right though, that is the back of uh, Brown, isn't it? 100%. Yeah, fair, fair one. So that's Brown across there. I yeah. thought I got it wrong the other day, yeah, but I was right. Brown Ridge right there. Cool. All right, let's go. Yeah. So learnings from today, inversion, that was really cool. It was minus 11 when we went out, often <clears throat> sort of about noon. And then uh, a few hours later, it must have been up right at the top, just minus a couple of degrees. It felt warm. So it's really interesting how that happens. Uh, a turbo is a lot faster than normal sled. I can't believe how with both the Polaris and the um, <clears throat> Andes naturally aspirated, how much faster I just took off there. Um, I guess other learnings is it's amazing how much someone can learn in a day. After Andy's year last year, naturally he's a bit apprehensive to get out, but he just—he's just such a better sledder by, you know, a few hours of riding and a few little techniques. Um, that's why I love about it. You don't have to have these big days and best days with the snow sledding. You just go out for a few hours uh, in the afternoon and just sort of go around and have a bit of fun. So all round good day not going to be out until next weekend now because well maybe at the end of this week because the snow but and yeah that's it wait till next weekend see you on the next one